Hello everyone and welcome, this is Federico. Today I'll be continuing on my um, byte Python bytecode uh, investigation uh, because the last video was actually very well received and I thank you for it and feel free to, you know, um, support this one too, I guess. If, if, you, if you think this is useful, it just tells me that, um, that I should make more. Um, so we are back into our disassemble work folder and uh, and we're going to copy it and uh, and call list.py. Today is going to be about list comprehensions and uh, I'll go over what they are for maybe the more beginners and then uh, we can actually go and why to use them and, and we will be doing that by looking at the bytecode and looking at their performance. So if we open this uh, list.py what we can do is uh, you know erase what we had before because we're doing something completely different and uh, let's say we want to construct a uh, list uh, which takes the first n powers of two. Now, obviously, to do this, we need a list, and then this is the very uh, kind of old school way of doing it, I guess, like the very standard way. You just loop it, and then uh, we, on each uh, iteration, we we append uh, i squared, and then we return it. Uh, okay, and now this is a very kind of obvious, straightforward way of doing it. Now, what I want to show you is a better way of doing it. It's better in terms of readability and it's better in terms of efficiency, which we'll see later. It's actually, it runs faster. Um, and it will we'll actually try to understand why it runs faster. So let's say we have this powers of two uh, comp for comp list comprehension. Um, and again, it takes n. Now, what we do instead is we just simply return the list comprehension of i uh, squared for i in range uh, n. Okay. so. As you can see, this was pretty much a one-liner. And although I'm not too fussed about it being a one-liner because um, code is, if it's not a one-liner, doesn't mean it's less readable. In fact, I don't like one-liners in many cases. Um, in this case, powers of two is obviously much more verbose and less readable, obviously, because this is very, very obvious what it's doing. It's, it's, it's although it's a one-liner, it's a very elegant one-liner. And uh, just to show you, um, you know, if we print powers of two with uh, one with ten, and then if we print uh, the comp the comp version, um, if we run this, oops, uh, you will see that we get exactly what we expect, right? The powers of two, and they're the exact same um, well result as we would expect and hope. Um, now, this is not. Uh, this is cool, right? And if you didn't know about this, well, then definitely you should use list comprehensions. So we've already figured that it's much more readable in most cases, right? But what about performance? Is this just a drop in replacement for this or is it better? Is it faster? And this again is on the realm of micro optimizations, but um, still, if it's faster, why not use it if it's also more elegant? So. Let's disassemble the first one and uh, let's disassemble the second one um, like so uh, where again where you uh, if you don't know what uh, this is this the disassembly um, thing is then you should really um, check out my previous video which explains exactly that and then uh, let's let's check it out let's check out the disassembly now again this is uh, a lot more instructions that doesn't mean it will run slower necessarily because again instructions are not equivalent in runtime but we can uh, we can try to figure out why this will run slower and then we'll actually test if it does run slower but uh, um, okay so the first one you know it's uh, it's setting up the range iterable now a range is is an iterator and um, I guess a generator uh, but um, what you're doing is uh, is you're running through this loop so obviously a, a for loop is just a body and then once you're at the bottom of the body you jump back uh, and then you check if um, I guess you check if there's a new um, if, if the initial condition is true again or if not you just jump to the end of the body right um, so that's what it's doing now what's actually making it slower is this append uh, load attribute because the, although it's not a very very expensive operation when you're doing it in a loop it becomes expensive because uh, you always need to look up the um, the attribute so 
um, this is why it's becoming expensive because uh, we're talking about milliseconds here obviously but this is the big bottleneck on the other hand this um, this uh, list comprehension implementation is obviously not having to look up um, append in fact these um, these list comprehensions are being dispatched to like a low level C code which is uh, you know part of the Python interpreter um, so obviously append is a is also um, you know I'm assuming lists and append are obviously C code under the hood but in this case we are just dispatching it directly to C code and this is why it's faster um, so there's no append lookup and uh, the lists are just being constructed by C code and we know that list comprehensions were built for to build lists while um, well, the, the, this is not true for 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 loops. For loops were not built to make lists. So, this is why you know, even though it's a syntactical sugar, it's actually, when possible, when it makes sense, you should use list comprehensions because they're just faster. Um, and then let's see how much faster would we have. So let's say we want to run it for uh, ten to the eight iterations, and then we can use our time it module, which we have at the top, and we have here. Uh, maybe let's say for loop um, and then what we can do is run powers of 2 to the end and then uh, here instead whoops we have our uh, comp and then here we we run our comp version let's see how much faster this will be um, oops let me cast it uh, to an int I forgot um, and let's try it again um, maybe I should have put less <laughs> of an iteration, but uh, what we do expect is uh, okay. Let me, let me put a smaller number because I don't want this to stay here forever. Um, okay, so as you can see, it uh, it ran twenty percent uh, faster our comprehension version. It ran in three hundred milliseconds over three hundred. 70 milliseconds so, so more than 20 percent faster now this won't always be your percentage increase you won't, you can't expect that um that every time you you turn a for loop which append stuff to be 20 times faster if you turn into a list comprehension because actually uh this append uh, lookup it becomes marginal when it comes to um you know if you have a because obviously when we're doing i squared this is becoming a very, very this is a very very efficient operation which is actually you know it's a well it's a very optimized bytecode instruction right you can even see it here uh, which is binary power instruction but um, so we cannot expect it to be always a 20% increase but uh, if you have uh, loops which have a not very expensive operation then it will be a quite a significant increase I mean this is 20% for quite a trivial modification and uh, yeah, so it's more readable and it's more efficient. So I definitely recommend that you use them in your code. And um, yeah, I've been using them for so long and, and you know, my life changed uh, once I learned about them, I don't know how many years ago. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, hope it was useful. Again, if you did enjoy it, feel free to support it, share it around and uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.